Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to configure a POP email account in Thunderbird with SSL. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. First, we will see the prerequisites of it. First one is you should have incoming and outgoing mail server information. Second one you should have credentials of the email accounts which you want to configure as POP3. Third one is SSL certificate should be installed on the mail server that is mail.domainname.com. For your information, here, we have used Thunderbird's latest version 78.04 to show you how to configure a POP3 email account on it. You can download the Thunderbird email client application from the below URL. In order to configure a new POP3 email account, go to the Set up another account section and click on the email option. Once you click on it, one window will be opened with the name set up your existing email address. Here, you have to enter the credential of your email account which you want to configure in the Thunderbird. In the Your Name field, enter the full name of the person who uses the email account so you can easily identify it. Here, we have used Nick R as an example. In the Email Address field, enter the email account which you want to configure it. Here, we have used Nick at DemoVPSTest.com as an example. In the Password field, enter the password of the email account which you have used in the Email Address field. Tick the box. Remember password. If you don't want to enter the password manually each time while accessing the email account. Here, we have ticked this option because we don't want to enter the password manually each time. After then click on the continue button. By clicking on the continue button, the Thunderbird will automatically attempt to configure your mail settings based on the domain portion of your email address. It will show the result on the screen. It is not necessary that every time the Thunderbird fetch correct data for your mail settings. If you think that the Thunderbird has fetched the correct mail settings and it matches with the settings provided by your hosting service provider then you can click on the done button to configure it successfully. If you think, it is different with the settings provided by your mail service provider then you can adjust it by clicking on the configure manually button. Once you click on it, it will display incoming and outgoing sections of the mail settings. First, E will see the incoming section. In the protocol field. You need to select the POP3 option from the drop-down list. In the server field. Enter your incoming email service provider's server name. Usually it is mail.yourdomainname.com. Here, we have entered mail.demovpstest.com as an example. In the port field. You need to select 995 from the drop-down list. In the SSL field. You need to select SSL or TLS because we are going to configure the email account with SSL. In the authentication field. Select the normal password option from the drop-down list. 
in the username field. You need to enter the full email address which you are going to configure. Here, we have entered nick at demovpstest.com. Now, we see the outgoing section in the server field. Enter your outgoing email service provider's server name. Generally, it is the same which you have entered in the incoming section. Here, we have entered mail.demovpstest.com in the port field. You need to select 465 from the drop-down list. In the SSL field, you need to select SSL or TLS because we are going to configure the email account with SSL. In the authentication field, select the normal password option from the drop-down list. In the username field, you need to enter the full email address which you are going to configure. Here, we have entered nick at demovpstest.com. After then you need to click on the retest to ensure that your settings are correct. If it is correct then you will get a message on the screen that the following settings were found by probing the given server. After then click on the done button to configure the email account in the Thunderbird. It may take a few seconds to complete it. Once it is completed, the email account will be added on the left side of the screen. After then click on the account settings option located on the upper right side of the screen. Once you click on it, one new tab will be opened with the name account settings. Select the email account which you have added recently. After then click on the server settings option just below that email account. By clicking on it, you will get the server settings window. Here, the server settings section is very important. This option allows the Thunderbird to check for new messages when you start the system. This option allows you to enter the interval when you want to check for a new message. This option allows the Thunderbird to download new messages automatically. This option allows you to specify what happens to your email once it's been downloaded to your Thunderbird. If you want to keep a copy of the email on the server then tick the option leave messages on server. If you want to keep it for a few days on a server then you should tick the box for it most days. You can also select days how many days you want to keep it on the server. By default it is 14 days. If you want to keep it for a lifetime until you delete it manually then you should tick the box until I delete them. That is all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to configure a POP3 email account in Thunderbird with SSL. Hope. This video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, please subscribe to our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting, where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.